if we flip to the offensive side of this, while Georgia produced the best defense that we've seen in years or decades last year, they were pretty much able to match that, maybe not quite to the extent statistically, but most people would consider it the best defense in the country when you put the metrics together with the talent. But if there does, uh, beyond this, Georgia air of invincibility seem to be a place where Ohio State could exploit them because of their talent, uh, you know, portion that they have certainly at the wide receiver position and in the passing game, it would be just that. And then you put it together with what we saw in the SEC championship game. And there seems to be a path there for Ohio state. Yeah, I think so. And it's funny because, you know, we're, we're here in Atlanta and the, one of the major talking points was, well, Mayan Williams didn't come to interviews when he was scheduled to, they replaced him with Chip Trainum on uh, Tuesday Turns out, according to Ohio State, Mayan Williams is sick. We went to practice today. He wasn't there. And, and, you know, everyone's rightfully concerned about that. We'll see what happens at at that situation. But it's going to be tough for Ohio State to run the ball against this number one ranked Georgia rush defense, no matter which running backs out there. Obviously, you'd love to have as as many talented running backs as possible. But like you said, I think the, the path to success offensively, while you still have to run the ball some, is to throw the ball on this Georgia defense. I think they're just inside the top 50 nationally in pass defense. Maybe it's 49. Um, You know, teams have proven. You mentioned LSU. They did a good job with Tennessee, but but teams have been able to throw on on this Georgia defense. The secondary is not um, as as vaunted as it has been in the past. And then you mentioned C.J. Stroud, Marvin Harrison Jr., Mecca Buka, Cade Stover, Julian Fleming. You've got to play to your strengths if you're Ohio State. And the last two years with C.J. Stroud throwing the football, the strengths have been throwing the football. So I think that's a that's a route for Ohio State to to really attack this Georgia defense. Um, you know, and and they have to be willing to do some different things. I was talking with some of the other writers here um, the other night, and and it was pointed out, and I think this was a good point that. Ohio State has is, is almost made it more complicated on, on themselves in the passing attack. You know, gone are the days of, you know, the simple mesh routes and things that, that they used to do with, you know, Johnny Dixon, Terry McLaurin, Paris Campbell, that group. Um, and that was really successful. Now you have a more talented quarterback throwing the ball. You have more talented receivers. So you can do some things where C.J. Stroud can put the ball right in the hands over the top of, of Marvin Harrison Jr., but that doesn't have to be every passing it, you know, play. You can do some things that just get guys into space, for instance. You know, watching some of these bowl games that have happened so far, it, it's been, okay, how are these guys, you know, these, these teams that aren't as good as Ohio State, don't have the weapons that Ohio State have, how are they scheming guys open for, you know, even simple passes that go for 10, 15 yards? Now, obviously, they're not playing Georgia, but they don't have the talent of Ohio State. So I think it's – you know, maybe not overthinking things as much, um, but certainly I think the passing attack is, is a key to success. Even, you know, I'd take some shots early and often against this group, whether it be Marvin Harrison, Emeka Buka, whoever, um, I'd have that at least one option on uh, some of the early pass plays and, you know, see if you can't come out and punch Georgia in the mouth. If, if Ohio State, say, gets the ball first or stops Georgia on the first drive, and you can get a, a you know 50-yard Marvin Harrison touchdown like they did in the late in the first half against Michigan. Okay, now Georgia's playing from behind a little bit and you know if you can you can cause some doubt about how they're defending these receivers, I think that that's advantage Ohio State, right? So, you know, that would be my key to the game is is how you can attack them. Um, like I said, you still have to be able to run the ball. I still think the Buckeyes have to have some form of balance. I wouldn't go full air raid in this one but i do think you know let's let's use the guys that you've got and they certainly have talent in the passing attack 